All right, it's official. 2019 has went to a close for me anyways. I have caught my last bass of 2019. We had some really cool fish catches though. I'm gonna show y'all a highlight reel from this year. Most all these gonna be from tournaments because that's whenever the coolest stuff happens. Had some big moments in tournaments this year that helped me qualify for the Bass Match Elite Series. I'm, I think back to just one or two fish throughout the year that if I lose those fish, you know, I wouldn't have made it. But also I've got a few that I lost that if I wouldn't lost those would have really, really made it. So anyways, this is the best fish catches in my opinion that I had access to of 2019. Hope you liked the video. Share this one up. Should be action packed. See y'all. The boat is here. None of y'all knew about I was getting a boat, but it is here. And it is mine officially. That is my 2019 ride. Go! You gotta go! Chickamauga boogie. Big, big, real big. You need some help? I'll get it. That is a good one. Good job. Yeah! It's bigger than I thought. A lot bigger than you thought. I caught him a three or three and a half. Took me 35 minutes. Mwah! Mwah! Holly. Ooh, how about that, dude? Then we got what we had yesterday, I think. Jaw. Dog. I got all freaking big. Uh-huh. Where's my smallest fish in there? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. That's a big one there. Mm -hmm. Dunked him back. How about that? I touched it. I touched it. It was like an eight or nine pounder. Might be my biggest fish I ever caught. Man, look at that one. It gotta be a six pounder. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Might be my PB. What? I was just thinking in my head, I'll, if I got a bite there, I'm gonna shake it off. Oh, fast coming, fast coming. Like five big ones, big ones, real big ones. Big ones, dude. Get you one, get you one, dude. Big ones, big ones, dude. Dude, I love doing this, dude. Don't come off when I swing you. Yes, sir. I said five big ones coming. That was awesome. <laughs> dude, there was two bigger than this. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Well, there's, there's bass cruising. They, they just went behind that bush. There's two of them. There. Right there, dude, throw. Throw, there's three. You got it, dude. Oh, you got a bigger one. Big and big and oh my God. God almighty. Gosh, dude. Holy crap. I don't know if I can. Well, he ain't that big. That's a freaking giant. That is a little piglet right there, dude. That's fat. 
Dang, man. How big is he? You got one? I had one. Oh, my you God. You sure did. Big. It was so big. Oh, my God. Get I back. got wrapped around that tree. Get back in there. Get him. Get him. Set the hook freaking hard. Oh, hard, hard. Set the hook hard and real. Real. Oh, my God. Set the hook freaking hard and real. Just real. Just freaking real. Just freaking real. Swing him in here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. There was like, there must have been three or four under there. Get him, Hunter. Get him. Get him. There we go. There we freaking go. There we go. Swing him. Swing him. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's show him to the camera real quick. Boom. Hunter got the award for the prettiest bass of the day. Look at these spots on his back. He looks like a leopard. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude. I... Ah. Oh. oh my god. Dude, they scare me so bad. Oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, like three of them. Oh dude, I almost got in here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that was... God! Big and big and big old one. Holy crap. That's a nice one. That's like a seven pounder probably. You want me to grab him? I'll, I'll get him. Oh my gosh, Where'd dude. Get him? Okay, get him. I, I will not let him go. That's like an eight pounder. You got to get him soon. Do you have him? <laughs> oh my god, look at that one, dude. That's like a freaking seven or eight pounder. Oh my gosh! I've given her. Oh, give me this dude. Give me my big girl. Look at this freaking thing. That is crazy. We're keeping that. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's like an eight pounder. I'm serious. That's like a freaking eight pounder. Why don't, I, why don't I try to fish hydrilla? Why don't I do that? Oh, big smallmouth. Big old giant smallmouth. He, he ate it off a rock. That's a big one. How about that? Dude, what a good freaking call to leave down there. <sighs> oh. 
215? Good job. Fourth place right now with 24-1. That's the new star of the show. Look how pretty he is. Mm. Pal has found something. Good. Show sure enough good. This fish up here built, man, up in the north. There you go. Boom. Boom. Nice job, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's one we can weigh in right there, dude. There we go. That's hard, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Now we got a bag. Kyle Welcher. Kyle have an outstanding season on the BassPro.com Bassmaster Opens as well. You got five fish. Five fish for you. 17, 13 is what you need to take the lead. Not going to do that. But 17, 3 going to put you darn close in third place. Hold a couple of those up. Give it up for Kyle Welcher. Basically, in 2019, I set out a goal to qualify for either the FOW Tour for 2020 or the Bassmaster Elites for 2020. You know that I have qualified for the FOW Tour and I also qualified for the Bassmaster Elites in 2020. So you wanna take him home? Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Got him. Big old smile now. That's the kind you want up here. Got an update. Motor broke down. Big small, big small. Good job, dude. I'm sorry, I almost screwed you. Dude, I don't care. Dude! Yes. They were over the hump, baby. Over the hump, baby. Gibble, gibble, gibble. Yes, dude! Dude! Give me some, boo, dude! <laughs> yes! Dude, it's not a big one, but... Dude! dude. That might be too Broke down, baby! <laughs> broke down and we got five. What? We are broke down. <laughs> Oh, thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, we'll take a thumbs up after today. Kyle Welcher, next up for the pro side. Five in the bag for Kyle Welcher today. It's going to weigh 12 pounds, 4 ounces, 22, 3 in 18th place. And I have made my decision 100% clear. The Elites. Elite Series. We are going to be representing Fuji and Point Blank Products next year. Last question. Right, last five. question. This one obviously has to be about 2020 because you said the questions were about both years and we have not heard about 2020 yet. So let's hear about what's going down in 2020. It's not really about 2020. It's more about something about like how you're going to approach it. Yep. I want to know what your 2020 New Year's resolution for fishing is. For fishing for 2020 is to never get complacent, never get spun out. One of the things that it's hard when it's 11 o'clock and you've got one 12 incher. It ain't easy to stay open-minded, to stay analytical, and to stay fresh about making decisions. You know, you you might have one area of the entire lake where you're like, I think this is the best area. This is the only area I think I can catch five in. And then you done fished it for three days straight. And you ain't never caught a fish off this bank, this bank, and this bank. And then you hit the three banks you have been catching fish off of, and you got one for 12 inches. So... It's just nice to stay fresh and say, just because I haven't caught one here, maybe they, you know, the conditions are right, I can go here. Or just to stay completely fresh whenever things are going bad, 
It's a tough thing to do. Mm -hmm. But if, if I can do that all year, I'd be happy with myself. I don't, you know, like I said earlier, losing fish and stuff like that, that doesn't bother me. But if I make a bad decision, if I pull into an area and I fished around for 45 minutes and ain't had a bite, but I caught them there the day before, if I stay there for three hours and ain't had a bite, that is a huge mistake. And that's the kind of stuff you just can't do. And I'm excited to see how I do fishing against the Elite Series anglers because if I'm at the top of my game, I know I can hang with them. But if I make bad decisions, you know, continually making bad decisions, continuously making bad decisions at all the lakes, staying too long, running when I shouldn't run, that's the kind of stuff where you can make you have a bad year. So if I can stay fresh, make good decisions, I'll be happy. Just, you know, don't do anything based off emotion or what happened before. You just make good decisions. And you'll catch them. Just got to remember that. That's that it. Helps. That's it. That's all my New Year's resolutions. Just don't get spun out. Don't get in a hurry. And don't waste time. Wasting time in a tournament's huge. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. The channel grew a ton in 2019. That's because of you guys. And I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all watching. Leaving likes. Leaving comments. See the same guys in the comments all the time. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button right now. 2020 is going to be a great year. So keep following along. I will see y'all in 2020.